Hello, 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 everyone. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a little sunshine right about now. This is an easy dot painting tutorial designed for beginners. And I promise, this sun is gonna brighten your day. We're gonna do a little drawing, we're gonna do a little fine lining, and we're gonna do a whole lot of dot painting. Here's my recipe. You can pause here to gather what you need or just refer to the list in the description area below this video. So get all your goodies together and let's go make the magic happen as we paint with a passion. I'm painting on a six inch round wood cutout that's been primed. And the first thing we're going to do is paint our background black. I like to go over the brush marks with a sponge just to create a smooth dotting surface. I'm going to use two stencils here. And I'm using my large stencil um, because it makes marking my center super easy. It just happens to line up perfectly with the size of my cutout. So, um, also I'm gonna trace the innermost circle, which is two inches, and that works perfect for the size of the sun face that I want. Now I'm switching to a stencil that has fewer traceable lines, and I'm just lining it up with the center marker. If you don't have a stencil handy, you can trace something that's round and use a ruler or something with a straight edge. Now let's erase the lines in the middle of the circle and get ready to add the face. To begin, let's add two lines to divide the face into four equal parts. When drawing facial features, I find the easiest way to make them even on each side is to draw the first line on one side, then mirror that on the other side, and then go back and add the next part and mirror that and keep going back and forth each step of the way. Here's a quick illustration because it was hard to capture on the camera with my hand covering where I'm drawing. And the easiest way to draw the nose is to mark where you want the nose tip to hit. Then draw two little upside down U's on either side of the center dividing line. Then add your bridge, starting at the corner of the eye and bring it down. And then connect those two little upside down U's with the right side up U. All right, let's use the lines we drew as a guide for our longer sun rays. Now, let's add the shorter rays in between the longer rays. Now, 
This already looks amazing. Using a fine lining brush, let's paint over our outline with gold. When you need to reload paint on your brush, make sure to paint back over where you left off so that you have a smooth transition. I put a link in the description area if you'd like to see a video on how to make your own super skinny fine line and brush. Once the outline is dry, you can go back and thin out or touch up any areas that you need to with some black paint. Let's erase all the chalk lines, and if you have any chalk lines that just refuse to come off, just touch it up with a little black paint. Next, let's varnish before we begin dot painting. This is a great trick that will help to deliver smooth, round dots, and it'll keep your dots from bleeding out into the base paint. I'm going to reference my dotting tools by number. The small ball tools are S1 to S5, with one being the smallest. And my big tools are L1 to L8, and again, one is the smallest. I recommend making a dotting tool size guide. It makes it easy to determine the tool size that you're gonna wanna use when you're first starting out. And I've included a link in the description area if you're interested in making your own. I decided to go with crisp blue for the eyes and I'm using dotting tool L4. L4, L4. I sound like I'm calling out bingo or something. When you're dotting with large flat tools, try not to press the tool against the canvas because that can leave a sort of gap without any paint on it when you lift off. Now, using some red paint and the L1 sized tool, let's add a few large dots to each of the long rays. Now we don't want too many and we want it to look random. Now, switching to the S2, let's add some comma swooshes. And again, not too many, and let's try to make them random. Add a dot of paint, and then dot again and drag a small comma shape, lifting off the pressure as you bring it to a point. In my gold and blue tutorial, I showed you how to make large tails and comma swooshes using two different tools. For this design, it's the same technique, but we're only gonna use one small tool. So 
make sure to check out that tutorial if you'd like to get more instruction on the comma swooshes. Now using the S4 tool, let's begin filling in random dots. And we want to bring the red down about a third of the length of the sun ray. Moving down to the S2 tool, let's fill in the nooks and crannies. And since we have the red handy, let's dot in the lips and let's leave a little room to add a second color later on. And let's move up to the L3 tool and add some cheeks. And using the S2 tool, let's add dots around the cheeks at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. And then let's add a dot in between each of those dots. And then there should be a little space left so that we can add a second color around the cheeks later on. All right, moving back to the sun rays. Let's do it again, but this time let's use a bright orange. I'm using patio paint and the reason for this is because I just love the texture of this paint uh, for dotting. Now here's a close-up of making the comma tails. And it's a little easier to see here with the brighter color. You can use the same or similar colors or you can completely change all of the colors. Whatever you choose, it's going to look absolutely beautiful. When you get down to the S2 tool, make sure to blend in the dots where they transition. And you do this by overlapping a few dots of the new color in between the dots of the last color. And now, let's finish the long rays with a bright yellow.
All right, let's start on the shorter sun rays. And let's start with a lighter orange. And this time I'm using the S5 for the larger dots. Make sure to use small amounts of fresh paint. And also, keep a rag handy so you can wipe off your tool when the paint starts to get gummy. And next, let's use a light yellow. Let's finish the shorter rays using either white or an off-white. I'm going with buttermilk. Okay, let's go back to the cheeks and the lips and we're gonna fill in those little gaps around the cheeks and add a couple little dots to the lips and I chose Vintage Rose for this. Using the L4 tool, let's add the pupil. Now. The dot will land a little over the eye outline, but that's okay. We're going to touch that up once the pupil dries. Using the L1 tool, let's add a few random dots to the face using the yellows and the buttermilk. And just keep moving down in tool size and adding random dots of the yellows and the buttermilk.
And let's clean up the eye outline. Let's add some light reflections to the pupils. I'm using the silicone tip of the dotting tool S3, but you can also use a fine lining brush or one of your small dotting tools. All right, it's time to varnish. Now, I recommend that you let the paint set for at least a day or two um, before you varnish, especially when there's larger dots involved. And just remember, your varnish's finish is going to be the finish for everything. So if you are painting with shiny high gloss paint and then you varnish it with a matte finish, then everything's going to be a matte finish. Wow, this is absolutely stunning. Thank you all for joining me today and a warm welcome to all of my new subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time to paint with a passion. Please remember to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. I wish you peace, love and happiness now and always. Bye.